I bet you can't make a basketball shot from here. I bet I could. Yeah? Yeah. I told you I can make it. Yeah, that only took one take. Uh, easy, <laughs> easy, easy for us. What's up everybody, it's Enes here. Today we are in Encino, California and we're about to tour the mansion right behind me. It is 5359 Oak Park Avenue, six bedrooms, eight baths, 7,500 square feet and it is listed for $4,149,000. You usually don't get this size of a home at this price range, so stick around, you'll be surprised. <music> As you go through this front gate, you go straight into the motor court of this property. One of the entrances for the motor court is right here. And I wanna talk a little bit about the exterior of the home. So we have a smooth stucco finish, these arch windows to really tie in that Tuscany design features. A lot of wood beams that are stained. And if you go this way, we have a really cool arched and recessed front door right here, which is an incredible detail. Look at all the stonework all around it. Then if I take you guys this way, that Tuscany look with the stacked stone continues. And this is actually the staircase that leads you up to the second floor, which we'll get to, so stick around. So this motor court right here is an incredible feature because not only it goes into your garage, it gives you an extra space for parking. If you have people over, it's nice to have a motor court like this. And now we're going towards the entrance of the property. Like I mentioned before, an incredible custom door. And follow me guys so I can take you inside. So we just entered the property and there's actually a lot to cover in this house. So we're gonna put it into segments. We're gonna talk about the living room area, kitchen and dining room area. Then we're gonna go backyard, upstairs bedroom and the master bedroom. So why don't we get started with the living room area? As you walk into the property, first room that you're greeted by is this formal living room area, which is incredible, full of details. But before I really touch to this area, I wanna take you guys to this room right here. This is kind of the secondary living room, more of an informal living room. This is where you would actually hang out. And the reason I say that is this room feels very cozy. There's a lot of wood cladding here to really warm up the space. You actually have a nice little bar area right here. And this is kind of an area where you would put your TV, which in this case, that's what they did. I see a lot of wood beam details, arch windows, which we're gonna see throughout the property, even like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. It's just a nice, good sized cozy room. So let's get out of this room and let's go into the formal living room area. Again, this is the formal living room area, so it's a little bit stage more classy. You're not gonna hang out here all the time, but it's a really grand space. I say grand because of the ceiling heights to start with. This room is basically double ceiling heights over those other rooms that we just toured. These are probably what, 25 foot ceilings? I wanna say probably 20 to 25 feet ceilings, definitely. And Mikey, why don't we show this detail right here? There's actually a bridge detail right here, which goes into another room. It's just really unique. The railing, everything, they almost made it look like it's on the outside of the home, although it's not. And I wanna take Mikey right here. I wanna talk about this fireplace. So I'm gonna assume, because I don't know, this is probably some sort of a granite or natural stone, but this is a stacked stone right here. It's a really cool stacked stone fireplace that goes all the way to ceiling. A lot of people won't catch this, but this is how you make the fireplace stand very grand. And I assume that's probably the same kind of stone that we saw on the exterior uh, of that little the cylindrical area, right? Exactly. So that they really tying that inside outside feel together, you know, uniform the home. That was pretty much it for the living room area. Now let's go towards the kitchen so we can talk about the kitchen and the dining room area. left the former living room area and I want to kind of establish where I'm at. That's the front door right there. These are the stairs that goes upstairs and we have a little bar area right here off of the dining room. So I want to take you guys in here. 
It's a cool little area. You have a little utility sink. This is where you leave your hardware and everything. And actually, Mikey, why don't you come this way? Because this bar also has a wine cellar right here, which is really, really cool. I'm not gonna go in there, it's pretty tight, but Mikey, check it out. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Off the bar area, we have a dining room area right here. And there's a lot to talk about here, starting with this amazing chandelier. So throughout this property, you guys are gonna see all this restoration hardware, brass, black finish, light fixtures. That it looks incredible, you know. This house does have a little bit of an ornate style, so these modern light fixtures really kind of clean up the space. The other detail I wanna talk about is this coffer ceilings right here. Again, this goes more with the style of the home. It's just something that really ties in all the design features together. And I like the fact that there's also two uh, outdoor, uh, two doors right here that you can open up to go outside in case you're having a party, in case you wanna have people flowing in and out, you can do that as well. Before we finish the dining room area, I wanna take you guys right here. So this is like a little station area where you store your hardware, your plates, and if you're entertaining people over here, you can actually put a lot of food here so people can come and serve themselves. So it's a really kind of a useful space for the dining room. Yeah. And let's go this way. Before we leave this area, there's a half bathroom here for the first floor. And I wanna talk about this half bathroom because it's special. Mikey, why don't we pin down a little bit and show this vanity and how much detail that is on. This is all carved and stained finish vanity and then the countertop actually has a live edge finish this is very difficult to do it's actually done by hand to kind of get it this smooth and yet leave the character and there's a really really cool sink right here with a copper cap on top that has been uh, tiled in so really cool features more of these uh, brass light fixtures even a little half bathroom in a room like this is actually very thought out that was pretty much it for the dining room area. There's actually two ways to get to the kitchen. This is the first hallway, but we're going to take the main hallway so we can take a look. Leaving the formal dining room area, we go into the kitchen through this hallway and we have actually another dining room area right here and we have the kitchen on my left hand side. But before I really get into this, we've been getting a lot of complaints that we haven't been showing the garages of the most of the properties we tour. So let's go through this hallway so I can show you guys the garage. And actually, before we go to the garage, let me take you guys right here. There's actually a little room right off the kitchen. This is maid's quarter, has its own bathroom, has its own closet, perfect size room for maid's quarter. Or a little office or, or anything. So let's walk back again to the hallway and go into the garage. So you guys saw the exterior of the home and there's actually three car garage right here. This is a single door. This is the double door and it's a good space. I love these stainless steel storage cabinets right here and epoxy uh, painted floors. You could definitely fit three cyber trucks in here. You definitely can. And as you guys can tell, we're really excited about our cyber trucks. So back to the hallway and now we're going again towards the kitchen. And I mean, we can easily do a video on its own just for the kitchen. So much space in this house. There's so much space, but uh, we'll talk about the island in a minute. Mikey, let's come over here. You have a nice, good sized pantry here. Walk-in pantry. Sorry about that. I need to kick the trash can, man. Yep. And we have a Sub-Zero fridge right here. This is definitely commercial grade. I mean, this can store a lot of stuff right here. Yeah, that looks like straight out of like a nice restaurant's kitchen. Exactly. So we have a really cool custom inlaid backsplash right there. This, this also is Wolf commercial grade, pretty much uh, gas cooktop right here. Gas stove. Look at that power button. Right in the middle. Oh yeah, I did not see that. Yeah, point it out, look at that. It's just a big, right here. big power button. You have your pot filler. Of course, the commercial grade vent. If you're cooking here, you can cook upwards of like six, seven dishes at the same time. You need a vent this size pretty much. This is a party house. This seems like an entertaining house, like a perfect entertaining house. You're always gonna be having dinner parties. Or, People over. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You need, you need commercial grade appliances to support all, all that need. All your friends. Exactly. You have, this is a cool detail. This is an ornate farm sink, but it's stainless steel. You know, people are used to seeing these at ceramic finish. This is actually a stainless steel one. I really like it. 
Um, and then you have the island right here. Mikey, I wanna show a couple things. So first of all, one of the ways to establish an ornate finish is when you have your countertop, instead of a straight 90 finish, you do these pencil finishes. I don't know exactly what, what type of finish this is in terms of specific name, but this is another ornate detail that a lot of these Mediterranean or Spanish homes do. And another detail I wanna show is that a lot of the homes we tour have pre-manufactured pre cabinets. Cabinets that have been painted, finished, uh, cut in factories. This cabinetry right here, although it's been pre-manufactured, actually the finishings on them, the patina, the shades and all that have been painted right here. So it's true custom kitchen. Then we have our wine fridge right here, a huge island. And can we just talk about this life fixture right here? It's an incredible piece. It's a statement. It's perfectly centered to the island where you have your bar seating right here. Just an incredible space, like Mikey mentioned, perfect for entertaining. Then you have the extension of the kitchen right here, kind of like an, almost like in another bar area. And also this chandelier right here matches this type of chandelier right here on this another dining room area. I wanna take you guys because I think this area is super cozy. I like the window detail. They did a coffee ceiling here as well. This brass light fixtures throughout. This is like, a, this is actually where you would have most of your meals, I feel like, if you're a family here. Yeah. And this is probably me and Mikey's favorite part, a living room area off of the kitchen. Why? Because kitchen is heart of the home. This is where you hang out. This is where you have fun and friends over. And if you have a fireplace and a TV and a good spacious area that opens up to your backyard, that's literally goals. That's everything you want because that's the space that you will truly enjoy and make the best out of the home. And of course, like the rest of the property, built-in speakers, recessed lightings, and these wood beam finishes are throughout the property. Again, kind of cozies up the space a little bit more, gives a little bit more depth to this living room area. And as always, if you guys are enjoying our content, make sure to subscribe to our channel, make sure to give us a like. And as always, if you guys have any questions regards to this property or any other in Los Angeles, just drop us a comment below. Now that we're done with the kitchen area, let me take you guys to the backyard. Here we are in the backyard and this property has a huge backyard and so many features. So I'm gonna start right here with the basketball court, which is awesome to what have. What a place to start. What a place to start. I mean, not only is private here, it's actually a decent space too. It's right next to the house. And since we have the ball right here, I gotta give it a shot. Yeah. Check this out. Check this out. And of course you gotta use your feet too. I told you, I'm good at this. Yeah, you're pretty good. That was uh, that was not edited at all. Uh, that was real, guys. <laughs> so, I don't want my basketball skills to take away from this incredible home. But again, we have the basketball court right here. And as I take you guys this way, we have a cool little cabana. Well, saying it little is doesn't do the justice, but has this own bathroom and shower right here. That's for the pool area. And as you follow me this way, as we're passing by this palm tree right here, we have a very cool, kind of like beamed cabana seating right here with these really cool arches right here. Can we just move in here? Yeah, like <laughs> I mean like, as we're touring and as we're pausing the video, me and Mike are just looking at each other like, this place is incredible. Should we set up a Patreon, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Would you pay for us to live in this house? <laughs> we need it, I mean, it's really good. Yeah. But you have your gas barbecue right here, more storage. We have actually a freezer right there and a fridge. Your utility sink, kind of everything you're looking for. And they even have ceiling fans here because we're in Encino during summers. It does get a little bit hot here, but it's actually a really good, good size space. They've kind of built it with the same wood ceiling design like they did the house. And they use the stack stone on the bar as well, as you guys can see throughout right here. Really cool. And now let's talk about this pool. One detail I like, a lot of people have these pools and they have grass coming right next to the pool. That's not good. As you walk on the grass, you bring a lot of dirt and you know pieces of grass into your pool. The fact that it's all paved around this pool makes it much more easier and nicer to maintain. It's just nicer to walk around it too. Yeah, and uh, we have a pretty awesome hot tub here. Yeah, is this, pretty a, awesome. is this a fire feature they have, these blue little rocks? It is. This is actually where they light it up so at night you can see water falling 
and then you can see your gas fire feature right here. And uh, Mikey, I'm, I'm loving these palm trees. You're seeing it, right? This is incredible. Look at the size of these like cores. But knowing that house was built in 08, I'm pretty sure they were transplanted here, but they really kind of tie up the rest of the backyard. Another gas feature right here, more of that natural stone look. And again, this area is all paved. Guys, it's a little bright here, so I want to take you guys back to the bar area real quick, where the cabana is. Yeah, I can't, I can't even see where we're going right now. So that uh, I want to talk some of the features of the home because we can really get a good look from here. These wood details are so beautiful. They actually are the beams that are underneath the balconies as well as they're freestanding. And these columns right here you guys see are carrying those wood beams. So you can even see the bolt throughs right there, right above the columns, right where the beam is meeting. And I love the windows. The fact that they painted them all green with this yellow kind of cream color stuck up. It's just such a warm feeling. I think that's one of the reasons me and Mikey, why we like it. it. It doesn't feel like a spec home. It feels like someone really custom built it for themselves. And most importantly, this area right here where you can see the tile roof and actually where is the living room area, that sits really grand and facing towards the pool. So from your living room, you can actually look to your backyard. And that's pretty much it for the backyard. Now let's go upstairs so we can take a look at the bedrooms. That we're done with the first floor let's talk about this staircase leading up to the second floor not only it's wide and grand these windows throughout the staircase is just bringing so much natural light and guys take a look at this detail right here the wood beam ceiling this incredible light fixture just all this natural light floating into the landing of the second floor just incredible it's really nice all right so on the left hand side we have the master bedroom and two additional bedrooms and on this side right here and i've talked to you guys about that bridge from the first floor is leading us to two bedrooms on this wing right here so we have the first bedroom right here facing towards the front of the home with its own bathroom and a closet then we have another bedroom right here that is facing the backyard this is actually a little bit bigger and mikey why don't we show them this little detail right here and there's actually a staircase from the first level coming straight up here for convenience. Where was that staircase? I must have missed it. It's on the first living room. Uh, okay, okay. And then with its own walk-in closet and it actually has a cool arch design custom shower right here. Nice and spacious with its own bench. And look at all these inlay designs right here. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And lastly, this bedroom has its own balcony right here. So you can take a look at your backyard. Now that we're done with these two bedrooms, let's go towards the master bedroom side of the house. So back into the landing where the staircase is. And on this side, we have our first bedroom right here. Pretty similar to the bedroom that we just toured. Has its own closet, a balcony, and pretty similar shower design right here. Another arch? Another arch, exactly. But it's nicely done. and. Whoever lives in this space, they really took care of it really well. I can see there's not really any rough scratches or any dings or damages throughout the property. You said built in 2008? Exactly. Okay. So it's, it's still in really, really good shape, almost brand new. And then back into the hallway, we have a nice utility room right here, cabinetry, your sink, and this is where your washer and dryer goes right here. And then back into the hallway, this is a staircase right off the kitchen. So you don't have to go through the main staircase to come up to second floor, especially to go to your massive bedroom. That dumps out in that little hallway uh, that leads to the garage, right? Exactly. So before we go to the massive bedroom, which is on this side right here, we have another bedroom. You know, another detail that I really like, and I know you guys seen throughout the entire property are these wood shutters. Let me tell you something. They are not cheap and they do bring a character to the room it warms up the space a lot and this bedroom right here is pretty much a similar size that with the one that we just toured same hardwood floors throughout the entire property and this one actually has a tub setup right here but still to uniform the entire house they also did the arch design right here and Mikey talking about custom details look how they've carved that glass to go around that tile molding yeah that's pretty nice that is pretty nice talking about details right there 
that was pretty much it for all the bedrooms upstairs. Now let's go back to the hallway so we can check out the master bedroom. So, her side of the closet to start with, great space, a lot of racks, an interesting little detail, racks little seating the area, racks. yeah I know, and you want to tie your shoes, you want to take a seat while you're getting ready, you can't, it's actually a really good size. Is that what that's for, tying your shoes? To be honest, I don't know, but I'm going to guess so, Yeah. because it does make sense. So that would be a weird place just to sit down. Uh, well, you know when you need to sit down when you're like tying your shoes and stuff, and of course, I like this detail right here. Every good closet should have one of these. Mirror. On the other side, we have the master bathroom. Let me take you guys in. A lot to talk about here, so I'm gonna take this route. We have his or her side of the vanity right here. Again, guys, all the ornate details are throughout here, just like in the kitchen. We have extra storage here. Now let's talk about the shower right here. Mikey, why don't you come close? Get in there, take a tour around it. Yeah, let, let me take a tour here. It's, it might be a little too echoey, but there's actually two sides of the shower. It's a seam shower, body spray, and a rain head. Like literally everything you can possibly have. So you have your tub right here. It's a full spa jet. And those light fixtures, I'm telling you. They even have it right up here to make it a statement piece. Also those wall sconces. And I like this two-step look. This also, again, goes with that circular, more of an ornate design feature like they did throughout the property. This is where you have your toilet set up right here with a little bit of action happening. And on this side, again, we have the his or her side of the vanity now. You know what, actually this is the her side because there's actually a makeup area right here. And little details like this. You see they've used more of the black colors on the faucets. Even your plug covers are black. So just kind of uniform the design features of the home. All right, that's pretty much it for the master bathroom. Now, as we walk into the hallway, we have this circular area right here with all these window details, wood beam ceilings. It's just a nice little area for you to sit down, relax, possibly read a book. Now let's go towards the other side. This is his side of the closet. I say his because it's a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna assume that's his side of the closet. And on this side, we have more closets here. And I wanna show this little detail right here. So this does look like a drawer, but if you actually pull it, it's a full swing door, how cool is that? Cabinetry, huh? Yep, but on the other side, don't be fooled. Just some basic drawers. Exactly. So that kind of pretty much wraps up the closet space in this master bedroom. Back to the hallway, and now let's check out this grand master bedroom. I mean, check this out. A lot of space. A lot of space. I mean, we're quite far apart from each other, but... Yeah, it's almost like you could play a game of basketball in here. Easy. But uh, and since you're so good at basketball, everybody understood that at this point. Yeah. So I want to talk about a few details, starting with the fireplace. I always thought having a fireplace in your master bedroom is such a cozy detail. Same stack stone that they use on the first floor. And look at all these carvings and details right here. I don't even want to know how much they spent for this mantle design right here. Same hardwood floors. On my left hand side, we have the balcony, which overlooks to your backyard. TV is perfectly situated right in front of the master bedroom, keeps the bed private yet from the each side from the window and the door, they get that natural light in. Wood details on the ceiling as well, same built-in speakers and recessed lighting is also up on the ceilings. And they also have this cool light fixture right here, right in the center of the room to make the statement piece. And the last detail, I wanna take you guys outside so we can look at this property one more time. This is an incredible property and you can actually get a really good look from right here. It's very tranquil, very cozy, very private. Hardly any neighbors looking into the property and that's pretty much it. I bet you can't make a basketball shot from here. I bet I could. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah! I told you I can make it. Yeah, that only took one take. Easy, easy, easy for us. But uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. As always, if you have any questions, drop us a comment below. Make sure to give us a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next video.